Hey guys, like I said, I've deleted all the comments and now it just looks uh, cleaner and neater and the document is shorter because it's not wasting like 20 spaces worth or 20 lines worth of uh, space with comments for like, oh, this creates a view and so on. However, even though I've deleted it uh, already, this is starting to uh, get long, the document. And if we are creating like a real a huge app or even a decent normal size app it's going to be really long and normally uh, we want to it to go in different uh, JavaScript files so like we have this create window and what we want everything inside or all the code that is going on inside this uh, create window to be in something else, so up to here. So all we want in this app.js is the variable win equals create window and this window open and we want to put this in somewhere else. We could do that and this is similar to if you've done PHP like include, not require but include in PHP and you can think of it as adding the external CSS, external JavaScript in your HTML document, although it's not completely the same thing. Now let's go to our App Explorer and inside the resources, somewhere over here, just like right click and this pops up and we write, uh, we go to new and say file and this window pops up and the default is inside our resources like so because we don't really need it to be inside android or um, iphone we don't need to play around with this and the file name is going to be i don't know because it's inside our variable win for window let's just say win.js and if we press ok this in our app explorer this new uh, file called win.js is going to show and we have this new tab for win.js. Now let's highlight from tie.ui to create view all the way up to win.add view. Okay, and let's control X or command X to cut it and paste it over here. So there we go, we have this win.js and we have this app.js which is really clean. Now, in order for this to go to be displayed just like normal, uh, just like this include in PHP or this uh, link level type uh, stuff tag in HTML for CSS and JavaScript, what we're going to do is add this URL. Okay, so what this does is what we're going to do is display the URL of the document or the document folder inside so we have this url and inside that we are going to say uh, win.js now because this win.js is inside in the same directly a uh, directory direct directory directory as uh, app.js it just all we need to write is win.js however if we put this if we create like a new folder inside the resources and call it i don't know like uh, window and add win.js inside what we need to do is say window and then slash win.js just like php include and html css javascript those external css javascript stuff that's the third time i said that and there we go oops what's happening apparently there's some kind of error what if i add this here Hmm. There we go. Because I'm adding more than just background color thing, I need to add this comma here. Now let's go to uh, win.js and there's one thing we need to change. Remember when we said we want you, win, to add view to yourself, like so. However, this win or this variable name has to be inside here. And because there's no win anymore, because win is in app.js, not win.js, it's going to be like, where the hell is this? And it's going to display error and your app is not going to work. So instead of just normal win, what we need to write is, let's give it some space so it's not right at the bottom. There we go. We are going to write tie or titanium dot UI 
dot current window. Okay, what this uh, title UI dot current window does is this is going to equal the current window that this uh, URL window JS is being is calling. So this window JS is being called at this uh window which is which has a variable win so in this case this is going to equal win so it's going to be win dot add view like before now i've i haven't changed the code at all except for this url and changing this win to current window so it's the same as the alert dialog from our last video let's open quickly our iPhone simulator to check that everything is working. There we go. Uh, da, de, da, de, da. Da, da. This awkward moment when I have to talk about something every video or every time I load the simulator because we have this like 10 seconds or even more waiting time. Oh, there we go. At last. Come on. Yep, click me, delete, selected, okay, cancel, or help, and when I say okay, it's going to say zero, cancel is going to be one, and help is going to be two. Yep, all perfectly working. So I'll just close this, and that was a quick video on using URL to uh, add code from a different file to your file, like so. And make sure that you don't forget this, uh, or to change the win to tie.ui.currentwindow or something else when you are <coughs> doing it when you're referring to it from a different uh, document so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later